Hey Sparkle Squad, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to do a catch foot camel. And you guys can use this spin in like different combination spins. It's a different like variation to do on your camel. So basically what you have to be able to have before you start doing this is either a nice forward or a nice backward camel, whichever foot you wanna do it on. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it on a forward foot today. But without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you have before you do a catch foot camel is you want to have a nice and solid camel spin that you guys feel comfortable with moving around because you're going to be have like you're going to have to be able to go here and then you have to grab your foot behind you. So we're just going to start off with a nice solid forward camel. So I'm going to show you guys what mine looks like. So we're going to be coming over to the boards and <laughs> Sabrina's here and she doesn't have her skates on so she can't demonstrate with me. <laughs> Rude. But what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the boards. I'm going to have both hands and I'm going to be facing to the boards and I'm going to get into my camel position. So you want to make sure that your foot or your leg is hip level. You don't want it too high or too low because you like usually when people are doing a camel their foot is at hip level. So just like this. So then what we're going to do is we're going to grab and we're gonna take it and we're gonna bend our knee all the way and we're gonna try and bring this foot all the way to our opposite shoulder like this in this position. So afterwards, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try and open up this hip. So right here, if we're here, you don't just wanna like bend like this, you wanna have your hip nice and open so that you can get your foot closer to your hand. So when we're right here, we're gonna bend our knee and then we're gonna grab our opposite arm. So it's opposite arm, opposite foot, and we're gonna reach behind us and we're gonna grab our foot. There's many different ways that you can grab it. People grab their boot, they grab their like, just like in like the back of their blade, they can grab like the front. I grab mine in the middle cause it's the most comfortable for my hand. And it's also the less pain, like the least painful way. So once we're right here and we grab our foot, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our foot all the way up and we're gonna bring our chest up with it. So we don't want our camel to look like this. So you wanna be nice and up like this. And you just wanna work on getting that stretched just like this. And we're gonna hold that. And we're just gonna work on that until we can go from here into our camel and we can grab quickly and get up into our position. All right guys, so this is Sabrina. Most of you guys probably already know who she is from most of my videos because she's in almost every single one of them. And she wanted to give you guys a quick tip about your chest on your catch foot because she has a really good one. Sorry, I don't have skates to demonstrate, but uh, when you do a catch foot, you don't want to think about bringing your chest up, but think about bringing your chest open so you have a nice shape, but also you don't have an unbalanced chest and leg moving back and forth. All right, so that's like basically what she's trying to say is she doesn't want you guys like here. <laughs> she doesn't want you guys to be like too far like this or your foot is too low, but she also doesn't want like so like here. And also in order to actually get your chest all the way up, you want to have it nice and open to make it look nice and pretty just like this. You don't want it like closed because then you won't be able to stretch as much as you want to. You also get extra points looking pretty. <laughs> so yeah, that's true. The whole sport's about looking pretty and points. <laughs> Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and do the same thing that we did on the wall, but off of the wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a nice forward or backward camel, whatever you want to do. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be spinning. And then what I'm going to do is once I'm in my camel, once I establish the position and I'm nice and balanced, I'm going to grab my knee and I'm just going to bend it behind me. And I'm going to try and open up my hip so that I'm able to get my knee like, or my foot closer to my opposite shoulder. So I'm just gonna be opening up my hip and I'm just gonna hold this bent leg position and I'm gonna have my arms like here behind me, just like this kind of. So I'm gonna be in my camel position with my foot behind me and we're just gonna work on holding that position in the camel. to do is we're going to reach with our opposite arm and we're going to try and grab our foot and we're going to hold this spinning position right here so we're just going to get into that camel position we're going to bend our knee and bring it to our opposite shoulder while we're opening up our hip 
and then we're gonna reach for our foot and we're gonna try and grab it. And we're just gonna hold this position and we're not gonna pull it up or anything. We're just gonna see if we can balance in that position while we're holding our foot. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. do is once we have established that position what we're going to try and do is we're going to grab our foot right here and then we're going to reach 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 all the way up into our catch camel position so again like sabrina was already mentioning to you guys and what i mentioned to you guys while we were on the boards is you don't want to stay too low with your chest or else you're not going to be able to get that perfect like or that pretty shape that you want in your camel so you also don't want to go too high because then you won't be able to get your foot as high either and you're going to end up in like a camel that looks like this so you want to just get into like that middle position where you can really reach and get your foot as high as you want it to be so it takes a lot of practice and obviously you won't be able to do it perfectly but it also takes a lot of stretching so you can stretch on the boards stretch off ice before you get on the ice just work on getting that position and work on really working on opening up your chest it also takes shoulder flexibility and hip flexibility to be able to hold it there so i just recommend stretching a lot so that you can get into that position that you want so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like All right guys, so that is basically how you do a forward catch in figure skating. And it takes a lot of practice and it took me a lot of years to be able to get my catch the way that it is. Cause when I first started off, I wasn't able to stretch as much into the position that I wanted. And eventually you just have to work on stretching, work on getting comfortable with grabbing your leg and pulling it as much as you can. It creates a lot of resistance. So most of the time your spin can either like, it'll like go faster. And sometimes the resistance can be bad and sometimes it'll slow you down if you don't do it correctly. But it's basically a it's a simple spin if you just look at all the different steps but it's pretty difficult to get especially if you just started working on it so i recommend just keep working on it just like the same way that i keep telling you guys with everything you just have to keep working on things and then eventually you'll be able to get it better um but i hope that this video helped you guys get your catch camel or if you already had one and you wanted to get make it a little bit better i hope this guys i hope this video gave you guys some tips and tricks on how to make your forward catch a little bit better if you guys have any requests for tutorials that you want me to do on my channel leave those down below in the comments and i would be happy happy to do those for you guys, but I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.